into Miles and we were commiserating the loss of this great, great artist. And Miles with his cryptic his sense of humor said to me, you know, he died before we could get even with him. <laughs> and that's true for all of us who are dealing with this music. And as I did say earlier, and I'd like to repeat myself if I may, I have had the opportunity to have shared speakeasies and recording sessions and, and stages and bandstands with some of the greatest musicians this country has produced in this century, to name just a few, Duke Ellington, um, Benny Carter, Hot Lips Page, Henry Red Allen, Lester Young, Coleman Hawkins, Bud Powell, Art Tatum, and I've even been in these wars with people like Art Blakey and Elvin Jones, the real killers. And tonight, and tonight, I want to tell you, it's my honor and pleasure to share the bandstand with some more musicians who is an honor and a joy to be with. So I'm in the same kind of company. Let's all put our hands together and welcome the great Herman Foster. Of And on bass, John Burr. Hey, John. And on trumpet, Tom Kirkpatrick. And on drums, a, a killer, Fukushi Tayanaka. And, and my homie, you know, I was born in a place called Dismal Swamp, North Carolina. I'm a Tar Heel, that's right. Now, well, well, the leader and one of the greatest musicians I've had the honor and distinction of knowing and hearing and also sharing bandstands and stages with, the one and only Lou Donaldson. And you know, while they get while they while they get themselves just relaxed and organized for a minute, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of some of the some of those musicians I talked about earlier who have made this music what it is in the world today. Let's all welcome Mr. Tommy Flanagan out here. Oh. I heard that Charlie Pressure was on the scene. All right. Oh, right. Someone said that that great orchestrator and writer, the, 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 the father of Spike Lee, Bill Lee is here. Oh. Walter Bishop Jr. is on the scene. Walter. Yes. Now he's got some wonderful stories about Charlie Parker to tell. He spent a lot of time with Mr. Bird. He's also a poet. Yes, sir. One of the great pianists, composers, and teachers and on the scene here. Did I to leave anybody out? Who? You want to hear some music? Who? Oh. I want to also thank someone who's very close to me, too. Mrs. Widow of Charlie Parker, Doris Parker, who's over here visiting with us, who's responsible for a great deal of this. She is my next door neighbor. So y'all sit back, relax, enjoy yourselves, and have fun. <laughs> 